Okay, so this is uh, the one I chose, and it's called the Main Main Warden. Main Warden. Okay. Now, um, slowly we have to. It's a really good pack. How does it feel on? Yeah, pretty comfortable. Yeah, I I mean I got it on and uh, fully loaded which I couldn't do for me, but just wanted to do an example for you guys. The issue that I, the issue that I had with it is that I couldn't fit my pan set in it. So, like, um, if Chris, if you turn around, Chris fit this inside his pack. But what I actually have in here is I have the um, MMS... What would you call that? Out of shell bivy? Oh, you just, yeah, you've got the Cortex bivy. I got the Gore-Tex bivy, and then I have the patrol um, sleeping bag, right? Is that what you called it? The green one? Yeah, one of the patrol bags, yeah. Yeah, so I got in the back here, we want to kind of look at the knapsack. I have the. Um, the bivy and the patrol blanket, I mean sleeping bag. I have a um, small jungle blanket. I have the SOL breathable bivy. On the outside in here, I have this, I know the lighting is horrible. Can you turn toward the light? In the kangaroo pocket, where it has the axe holder on mine, I have the grabber blanket. I have my poncho, which has my hat inside. Um, I have my knife. Oh, my little wooden spoon. Um, I have my Baco Laplander in here, bug spray. And this is the water bottle for the unit. Um, you can see my water bottles in here, but. See, this is the strap of the H2O of this that kind of goes across the whole thing because I could not fit my pan set in there with, uh, and this is the whole toke set with the stove and everything. So, um... Which fits inside the Orca water bottle carrier. Yeah, so that's the H2O. But it, it's really, um, it fits a lot. Now, how much would you say this weighs? It's probably about 20, 25 pounds. Yeah, it's a lot lighter than yours. I got my Pathfinder seat right on the outside. It has a lot of extension pockets. You can put um, an axe through there. It goes all the way through. It's got these little side zippers. Um which are great. I don't think I have anything in this one, but in the other one, if you can turn around, I have my whole fire kit right in there. And these are like all my cooking utensils and stuff like that. My clippers. It fits just about everything that you want, you would want. Oh, on the bottom, I have... um. A full top, and I have the um, that huge wet dry bag. I think it's uh, I don't know how many liters that thing is. It's big though. And then you know, on the outside, I have rope. So I have a little bit more on the outside than he does because of the kangaroo pocket. But even this is a, a full waterproof pocket. I have my medical kit right in now, my headlamp. Um, I'm going to put my little radio in there. I still have some more room. So all in all, um, and the material on this is awesome. It's like a soft ripstop nylon, and you can see the zippers are the reversed waterproof zippers. And like I said, this top part right here, that goes way far down is all waterproof inside. I'll have to do a video just on the bag without stuff in it. But, uh, 
So far, so good. I'm, I'm impressed that it fits all this stuff. And you, oh, and it's got the little whistle. Don't blow it, because that's wicked loud. I have never seen a whistle that loud on a, on a thing. And it's got the waist straps. I just got them tucked away. And right here is where your, it's got a water bladder sleeve, and it would come out there. So, for an alternative for, to military, at half the price, L.L. Bean, you get this nifty little patch on the top, you can see that, it's pretty cool. I like it, uh, there's no way me, myself, could hike with 25 pounds, but you guys out there, you can do it. I know you can. All right, this concludes <laughs> the main warden. It's the main warden. The main warden, that's it. All right. All right.